In this video, we will boot our brand new image we generated with Yocto onto the Icicle Kit. On Power Up, the E51 boots from the ENVM and loads the HSS. The HSS in turn loads an image from the EMMC or SD card, depending on the MUX configuration from the fabric, and then boots the U54 hearts. This playlist has used the EMMC configuration, and if you are using an SD card, be sure that you are using the correct Libero reference design or that MUX is controlled correctly by the fabric. Please ensure that a USB cable is connected to the UART USB connector. Now we can open a connection with the first two COM ports listed in Device Manager, connected to Interface 0 and Interface 1. On the first, we will see the boot process. On the other port, we will see the Linux boot. Let's switch the board on with a new image into the EMMC. At this stage, the bootloader copies the U-boot code from EMMC to DDR. On the second COM, we can see the U-boot loading and starting the Linux boot. Here we are at the Linux login. First, we can verify that the booted version is the one we just created. Let's type uname A. Here we can see the build date in the Linux version. We can also verify that this development image contains the tool we would need to compile directly onto the board. We have GCC, Make. We can also verify that we have the extra image tool we chose in the initial Yocto configuration, TCP Dump. Now we can use a development utility like DevMem2 to switch on and off an LED connected to the GPIOs. DevMem2 allows us to write directly to a physical address and it is useful while verifying bus behavior. We should determine which is the right address to write to. In order to do this, let's analyze our Libero project again and look where, for example, LED0 is connected to. We can see that it is connected to GPIO2 underscore 16 and outputs to a fabric pin. We can now open the register map reference manual to understand where this GPIO is located in the memory map. Let's go to the GPIO underscore fab underscore LO because we have a fabric pin. Each GPIO has a configuration register. We also have a set underscore bits and clear underscore bits register where each bit is connected to the GPIO. What we need is the address of these registers and write to the desired bit. The correct address is 0x201220A4 for the set bits and 0x201220A0 for the clear bits. Now we can simply use the dev mem tool utility at this part of our Yocto development build to write to the correct register and the correct build field. So we will type dev mem 2 0 x 201220 a 4 w and we rewrite exactly the 16th bit field by writing 0 x 1 0 0 0 0. We can now see that the red LED is switched on. To switch it off, we can write the same value to the clear bits register. We hope you enjoyed this series on building a customized Linux image with Yocto and controlling the MSS GPIOs. Thanks for watching.